Hello, this is K6OZY testing the ICOM IC7300. I'm using my Flex 6700 to capture the spectral output of the radio because I've had lots of requests to see if we can uh, fully measure the high and low transmit bandwidth filters for the radio. Right now, I am transmitting uh, with 0% RF power gain on the 7300. My 6700 has a 20 dB attenuator enabled, and it has no antenna attached. So I'm picking this up quite nicely, even though it has no antenna. We are using a mic gain setting right now of 86, and the compression is turned off. The transmit filter is set to wide for a uh, low end of, uh, I have to check, I think it's 100, and the high end is 2900. You can see on the flex here that uh, I have the filters set to 3000 hertz wide, so this also reflects uh, the 100 hertz roll. You can see right right about here, it's properly rolling off at about the 100 hertz line and then the 2900 hertz line here. Compression is disabled and the audio actually sounds pretty thin like this. I'm going to break and uh, enable the compression and to see what it sounds like. Stand by. Okay, I now have compression enabled on the radio and you can see that this drastically changes the output of my audio. The low end has come up, and you can definitely see the processing in the audio. And not only can you see it, you can hear it. Look at the waterfall at the bottom down here, and these uh, vertical lines are a dead giveaway that compression is in use. You can use the flex and easily spot people who have the compression turned on. Now, the skirts of the transmit filter are pretty nice. Um, they are very, very vertical. Uh, there's no uh, splatter on the low end. The stuff that you see of this, the suppressed uh, sideband would never make it anywhere of any 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 impact on the actual transmission. It's far enough down where it's very much complying with the FCC restrictions. But you can see the ALC, uh, the overshoot on the top end here, going out of the. Uh, uh, the top end of the transmit filter. These little overshoots are what would actually trigger the ALC in the radio. But uh, the audio is quite different. Compression on, compression on, compression off, compression off. So now I'm going to actually tune the compression setting up and down so you can see what it sounds like. Okay, six was and Y. Compression is now set at zero, but it is enabled. I can still see compression is being uh, applied. Compression setting one, one. Compression setting one. Compression setting two. Setting two, setting two. And compression setting three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Compression setting four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Compression setting five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Compression setting six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Compression seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Compression eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Compression nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And compression setting ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Setting compression back to five. So it looks like we have no ability to widen it beyond these uh, uh, this limitations of 100 hertz on the bottom and 2900 on the top. It looks like turning on compression helps bring up the top end a little bit and the bottom end, but you can still see the roll off at 100 hertz. I'm going to now switch over to AM so we can measure the AM bandwidth. Stand by. Now I am transmitting AM, and it looks like the skirt is right at about 6K. Let me turn off the compression. Oh, there is no compression. Uh, that's right, because it's AM. A mic gain is set to 86, and the skirts are set at 6K on the flex here. I'm going to widen it out just a hair 
Let's go out to 8K here, and so we can better hear the fidelity here. It does look like it's 6K for a total of a 12 kilohertz AM transmission. Um, I honestly don't know what it sounds like right now because I'm muting the recording so that I'm not feedback, um, having any feedback into the uh, recording and ruin it. So I'll have to listen to it uh, after. So let's see here. Uh, stand by one. Okay, so let's uh, just do some generic testing here and uh, have you guys equate. I'm trying to just find some uh, some text here. I'll, I'll go to ICOM's website on my other computer and uh, read a little bit of text here. Uh, let's see. I have the manual open. Uh, let's see, TX bandwidth. Searching for TX bandwidth in the manual. I know you can't see it because I'm using another computer. But uh, let's see where it is. All right. It does say in the manual that the sideband TBW uh, variable is defaulted from 1 to 2900. I was told that if you went in there and tried to drop it down below 100 and, and spun the VFO that it would change to dots, and it does not, either on the low or the high end. So I can't reproduce that. Um, let me go in and change some other settings real quick. Okay, AM has no adjustment for transmit filter, so this is what it is. It's hard set. Uh, I can increase the treble on the bass, so bass setting is now at plus 5, plus 5 on bass, plus 0 on bass, 0, 0, and now negative 5. Negative 5, 0, 0, and positive 5, back to 0. Treble has an adjustment uh, from negative 5 to positive 5. This is 0. And now we're at plus 5, plus 5 on AM transmit treble, back to 0, and down to negative 5 on AM transmit treble, and back to 0. And let's switch over to sideband and do the same thing. Okay, so now we're back on sideband. Uh, let me check to see if compression's on. I'm going to turn off compression because it seems to make a, a tremendous difference. And uh, we'll play around with the uh, settings with compression disabled. Tone control on sideband here. Here's bass of 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it's on setting 5. Back down to 0, down to negative 5, and back to 0 again. TX treble is at 0, up to negative 5. Now it's, in, oh, sorry, up to positive 5. Back down to 0, down to negative 5, and now back to 0. Let's do that exercise again with uh, compression on and see if it makes a big difference. Compression is now turned on, default setting of 5. We're going to go back into the tone control for transmit, sideband. Treble is uh, now up to 5, now up to 5, now back down to 0. From 0 down to negative 5, negative 5, back to 0. We're going to go to transmit base, and we're at 0, up to positive 5, positive 5 right here. Back down to 0, down down to negative 5, negative 5, and back to 0. I also want to mention I'm using the stock microphone, and I'm holding the microphone approximately 2 inches from my mouth. k 6 O Z Y. Okay. Well, let's see how AM, I mean FM sounds. Um, even though I'm at zero watts, I don't want to do anything I shouldn't be doing. So let me move up to uh, 2965, uh, just so I'm way into the FM portion of the 10 meter band. So let me tune the uh, ICOM first.
Okay. All right. I am uh, on FM. I have a gain of z power setting of zero. And let me adjust this on the flex so you can see the top of my peak perfectly. And, um, you know, I don't know if this is transmitting FM wide or FM narrow. I'm assuming it's FM wide. So I'm having the flex set to FM wide as well. So I don't know how this sounds, but uh, it seems to look okay in the spectrum. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to see how how accurate the frequency is. My uh, flex has the uh, GPS DO in it, so it is extremely accurate. You can see that, uh, honestly, the the 7300 is pretty pretty accurate there. It's not too far off there. I zoom out a little bit, and you can see uh, that it's pretty good. I'll zoom way out and see if we see any weird spurs, but no, no it looks fine. Come back in on the signal, and it uh, looks proper. I don't know how this sounds, so I'd have to pause the video and go back and listen to it. Um, there really is, let me see if there's any adjustments in the tone control for FM. Uh, there is. So we have uh, bass and treble adjustments for FM, just like the other modes. So I'll start playing with the bass first. So we're at zero on FM transmit bass, zero. Now we're up at plus five, plus five for FM transmit bass. Back down to zero, zero on FM transmit bass, down to negative five, negative five on FM transmit bass, and now back to zero. On the TX treble, we're at zero, zero FM TX treble. Now we're at plus five on FM TX treble. Back down to zero, zero FM uh, TX treble, down to negative five, negative five, and now back up to uh, zero again. Okay. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up the demo for uh, trying to display. If we can change the bandwidth on the ICOM IC7300, it does seem that even though it's a software-defined radio, for some reason ICOM has hard limited the transmit bandwidth to be to be what it is, and we will not be getting uh, any kind of ESSB out of this radio, unfortunately. I don't know if it's a hardware limitation or a software limitation. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to uh, uh, stop the recording for now and post this up for a handful of people who are wanting me to capture this for them. 73 for now, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. K6OZY.